The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, hump day on this 10th day of August. I'm glad you're here this morning. If you're new to these videos, uh, we've been doing this for about a year now. Every day, the video is out. I get up around 2. I start researching the information, building the graphics, editing the movie, so that by the time you wake up, you have fresh information like a, like a morning newspaper, the latest stuff. In fact, today we'll talk about an atmosphere which is once again very primed for thunderstorms. Where do you see future radar? But as we approach our weekend, I'm starting to see that the atmosphere is going to calm down a little bit. The latest on your weekend forecast and that big heat bubble that we've hated so much this summer, it may return. Perfect setup for thunderstorms on the current map. You see a low near Bruton and an influx of moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico here in the middle of the night. So, uh, you know, there's where the low will be uh, about 1 o'clock this afternoon around Mobile. Still a perfect setup for the showers and thunderstorms, which will be coming in. In fact, on at 3.30 in the morning as I make this video, you can see already some showers in east central Alabama, southeast Alabama. So we're already getting a, a good start, uh, even in the middle of the night, to uh, the showers and storms, which will be coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Watch future radar here. You see how they influx in through the area and become numerous by the afternoon hours. They will be slow movers again, producing locally heavy rainfall and maybe some street flooding in some places. Good luck on your rain chances today. Tomorrow, the low moves farther to the west to Mississippi, and that's why Mississippi and Louisiana will be the focal point over the next few days for some of the heavier rainfall. See how that bullseye has shifted off to the west? Seven to nine inches just north of New Orleans, six to eight inches around Jackson, Mississippi. They will be very wet over the next few days. That's the next five days, by the way. So for today, showers and thunderstorms again. A generous supply with a high temperature upper 80s. Boy, we like that. Tonight's low 76. Very, very humid. East winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour today. Tomorrow, more showers and thunderstorms uh, will be around. As a matter of fact, Thursday and Friday. And I think uh, by Saturday, the storms will start to thin out with the high temperatures still in the upper 80s Saturday. And I think by Sunday, the rain chances are down to about 40% with high temperatures in the uh, upper 80s teetering near 90 degrees. In fact, we'll say 87 tomorrow, 85 Friday. Oh, boy, that's great, isn't it? 50-50 uh, chance of storms on Saturday with a high around 87, a 40% chance Sunday with a high around 89, and back into the lower 90s by Monday as the storms continue to thin out. And Oh, look what happens next week. The big heat ridge builds back into our area. It's been in and out of here all summer long. It has been our nemesis. So look what happens on the GFS numbers out 16 days. You see the 80s for a couple of days. Then you see temperatures starting to ramp up as we get into the early part of next week. And so the heat will return, and the heat indices will be back in triple digits. Here is the European out 10 days. Notice the blue bars there. Showers and thunderstorms numerous for the next few days. But over the weekend, by about Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the showers thin out in number until uh, maybe late next week before we'll see a return in showers and thunderstorms once again. So uh, if you missed a big downpour at your house yesterday, uh, today may be your day. In fact, there's a pretty good chance that a lot of us are going to get drenched later on. Hey, uh, we have some great listeners at Blue Water Broadcasting, and specifically on News Talk 93.1, you may have heard on uh, us talking. Uh, Greg said he had a big surprise for me yesterday morning at 8.40. I couldn't imagine what it was. A viewer brought this portrait in. Unbelievable. Take a look at this. Listener Robert Carter, obviously a very talented guy, had been he hearing us talk about my dog, Bailey, who is in the studio every day, and he created this unbelievable portrait. Look at the look at the, the quality of that. That is unbelievable. This is me stunned as I received this uh, at 840 yesterday morning. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Greg, for making this happen. That picture is now in an honored place on my wall next to my beloved departed dog, Sky. Thanks uh, again. And by the way, Bailey is not with me right now. She opted not to be in Daddy's crazy little video because it's too hot outside. She's in the air-conditioned vehicle about eight feet right over there. Hey, happy first day of school in Montgomery County and in Otaga County and a list about this long. More schools join that list tomorrow. More schools to, uh, the next day as well and even a few schools uh, join the list next week. I will be live in the Blue Water Weather Center for a complete update this morning at 11 o'clock at richthomasweathernetwork.com. We do that every Monday through Friday. Yesterday we were a couple of minutes late getting on the air due to a technical glitch, but I promise you 
that we will be right on the money today. You can take that to the bank. Live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Also on Bama Country, my forecast all day long on eight radio stations. The whole Blue Water family of radio stations. And another video for you tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock right on the dot. Okay? Have a great day today and uh, happy hump day. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck on your rain chances today. Rich Thomas Weather.